a gathering of Nigerians in Abuja from all walks of life to begin the funeral of the Paunia Bishop of the Anglican Diocese of Guagualada in the nation's capital. Reverend Tenimu Samari Aduda, who is also a father to Senate Minority Whip Senator Philip Aduda. Top functionaries of the Nigerian government are here to celebrate the life and times of the late Bishop Aduda. Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa Awa, representing President Muhammad Buhari, commissaries with the Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion, and family of the deceased, while noting that Aduda devoted his life to contributing to the spiritual well-being of the members of the church. Others also remember the late bishop as a father to all, having also served as a cleric in Jalingo, Taraba State. I appreciate Nigerians, I appreciate from our present and past leaders of this country for showing uh, love and for condoling with me and my family. We can see that indeed the love may have been short, but the impact was indeed full blow. I will give God praise for that. And the gathering here today testifies to that fact. It's only a great man that could have brought such people together. After a well attended final church service, Bishop Aduda's remains is escorted by a band of well wishes with his body laid to rest next to that of his wife, Juma Aduda, who died about a decade ago. The Anglican Church and indigents of Karo community in the Federal Capital Territory are not left out of the veneration as they turn out a mass to bid Bishop Aduda farewell through a show of communal love. It was through Baba himself that I got into this ministry from Ekobon to Anglican. Then Baba, his own attribute to all nations as a whole. It's a person that we have learned so much about him in terms of gentleness. The late Bishop Aduda was also a former military chaplain in the Nigerian army. And after his burial, Nigerians said he sacrificed a lot for the unity of the nation and dedicated himself to the good of humanity. Family members while thanking the federal government for commiserating with them through visits by top officials like Professor Ibrahim Gambari, the chief of staff to President Muhammad Buhari, also commended the body of principal officers of the National Assembly led by Senate President Ahmad Lawan, Nigeria Governors Forum, ministers and other notable Nigerians and residents of the FCT for their visits and show of love. To us as a, a body of lawmakers, the Senate, we greatly mourn the departure of the father of one of our own, uh, even at the level of the leadership. We no longer mourn, we rejoice because he died in Christ. Our father Tenimu was an icon to the Bagi race. If you look at his pedigree and what he has left behind, you could see a convergence of the whole country here. His life really defines the purpose of creation, which to me is to serve God and humanity. Uh, Baba, who had all the opportunity to become whatever he will be in the secular world, remember he was in the military, as a chaplain. Well, for us it's not a sad moment, it's a celebration of life. We are celebrating Baba. Though he's gone, we are going to miss him, we are going to miss his wise counsel, his advice, his love for his grandchildren. We will miss everything about Baba. Resilience and hope for a brighter future and that Nigeria will be great and Nigeria will be great again. A celebration of a father like none other. A strong, strong, strong source of unity. Right from his days in the military, he was always a chaplain. And if you know how the chaplaincy works in the military, they are more like a uniting force. Apart from Senator Philip Aduda, the late bishop is also survived by his son, Ambassador Gabriel Aduda, who is the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, among many others. Sumner Sambu, Arise News.